Hi folks, hey, um, I'm going to show you a product that I've uh, developed and I'm uh, calling it the switcher. So this is it in the blue case right here. You can see that it's a device uh, um, neatly housed in an aluminum uh, structure with uh, mounting feet and whatnot, uh, status lights, indicator lights, whatnot. And so what this device does is m basically charges and manages two battery banks of voltage ranges anywhere from 12 to 48 volts. Uh, either battery bank can be of different voltages and whatnot, but uh, one thing it also does is be able to supply a 15 amp continuous load. So if you were going to drive a certain load, you'll need to make sure that the voltages on the battery banks are equal or that the load is capable of handling the entire range of battery banks. So I'll supply a manual that kind of describes all that. But just to quickly uh, familiarize yourself with some of the features, we have a, a data terminal logging here, which you can actually log on what this uh, device is doing. We also have uh, the load uh, signified by the, the gray uh, connection, SB50 connection. and Today I'm going to show you, this is going to drive this uh, uh, 500 watt grid tie inverter. So I'll show you that process as well. So the gray lead is where, he, where the device connects into to supply the load. And then what we have is we have battery bank 1 and battery bank 2 connections here indicated by the blue connections. And I'll show you the battery banks here shortly. We also then have the capability out of this device to to deliver solar or um, get the source from the solar panel uh, therefore not having to work uh, or plugged into the grid. Um, speaking of plugged into the grid, normal AC plugged into the grid and today I'm going to show you how many watts that this particular device is pulling currently in action and so about anywhere from 100 to 130 somewhere in that range is what he consistently pulls I'm also going to show you uh, via this amp meter the amp draw on this particular device, this uh, grid tie inverter, once again 500 watt. I will show you the output of the grid tie inverter th through this uh, kilowatt meter here. So right now nothing's connected into uh, this device. And uh, trucking over here to the uh, battery banks, we have. Uh, battery bank one and these particular uh, batteries are all in series so you got four of them in series for 48 volts that comprises battery bank one and that is through this connection right here that's going over to the blue connections and then once again we have battery bank two out of these four batteries so let me get this set up and I will show you um, the operation on kind of what it does so let me uh, let me get the grid uh, plugged in. Okay, so I've just essentially plugged in the the uh, grid that this guy's going to feed into. So right now uh, he's unplugged. Let me let me show you. Uh, he's right here. So I've got him unplugged, but primed and ready to go, and. So right now that's the voltage. So as you can see there's no watts being delivered back into the grid system. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this particular guy in. And okay. And we'll watch our lights. And we see the lights uh, chasing one another there, so we're producing power. This is power that's going back into the grid. And so there's 430, 440 watts so far going back into the grid itself. Now, once again, this is the load connection from the switcher. The switcher feeds into this uh, connection point. I just have a capacitor on here to smooth out some of the pulsations felt by this grid tie inverter. But let me get the amps uh, clocked up here just to show you that it, right now that grid tie inverter is pulling like 11.7 amps. Now, at the same time that 
the grid tie inverter is pulling off of one of these battery banks the other battery bank is being charged by the switcher and you can see the status of those uh, charge right here so the the green flashing is means it's charging the yellow means that it's on battery bank number two that is charging if you were charging battery bank one the yellow LED would be out there's three LEDs here for status lights uh, red yellow and green and I have a truth table to tell you what each one of those are for example if one of these batteries connections was to become unplugged or a fuse blowing then uh, we would put the error code on this so once again this is the switcher I'm offering up for uh, uh, purchase it's a heck of a device for uh, any kind of big lab uh, experimentations or um, anything that you would want to do with it just to reiterate this device will automatically charge 12 to 48 volt battery banks and uh, the manual that I'll supply here will show you um, some of the differences you could use with it there's many more so I'd like to uh, display that anyway I'll uh, post this up on the forum and uh, and uh, talk to you later thanks